She's a Mr. Red. She's a, she's a, ah, she's a Mr. Red. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a Mr. Red. She's a, she's a, ah, she's a Mr. Red. Uh. Hello everyone, I'm so excited to bring you guys this video today and this video will be on the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Collection and I have been waiting for this literally since I found out she was having a collection. I have been waiting for this day. So, I don't have anything on my face except for my brows. Got the, did those earlier today and I have some... Um, just some little chapstick on my face and I'm just gonna go over with you guys what I got I got the primer foundation match sticks trio the kilowatt as well as her lip gloss it's called a gloss bomb so I can't wait to try these things out I purchased these items from Sephora in my local JCPenney store and first let's go in with the primer this primer is called pro filter instant retouch primer and it's supposed to be smooth pore diffusing finish extended makeup wear all the good stuff Let's get into this box. First of all, her packaging is so nice. Look at how this is packaged. The bottle is super cute. Let's squeeze some out. Oh, and the price of this was, let's see, $32. And you get a little over one fluid ounce. I'm going to bring you guys in just so you can see a little better while I apply. There we go. The bottle is a pink color and the actual product is, well, it has like a pink hue to it. So I got a good amount on my little fingers. We're just gonna go. All over my face. Feels very good on the skin. It's not super drying. It actually feels moisturizing. Which I like. I like my primers to feel like they're actually putting moisture into my skin. So that is all in. And I really needed a new primer anyway. So really glad I got to pick that up. We'll see how it does on my face. Next, I got the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Here it is. And I got this in the shade 400. And the thing about this is I was looking at the shades online and kind of reading the descriptions of the shades. She has so many shades. And I actually, um, just by looking at them online, would have thought I wore a different color. So... Purchasing this online for the first time might not be such a good option because you may just You may think you're one color, but you really might need a different color and this is what it looks like This packaging you guys in person. I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, but it is so nice Just gonna shake that a little just mix it up a little bit and this foundation cost $34 and you get the same amount as the primer a little over an ounce which is about it's about average I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge that has been dampened I'm gonna just pump a little onto there
that is what it looks like on the sponge as you can see it's kind of um, a liquidy consistency I don't really smell anything it doesn't really have a smell probably gonna need more we'll just go in with this first Okay, this is my face. I'm gonna bring you in a little closer. This is my face after just applying the foundation and again, the shade 400 and I'm really liking this foundation. It is, my face and my chest are, all my life they've been like two different colors. I've had a really, really yellow chest and then like this, like kind of a dark face. So it's always kind of hard to match them together in a way that doesn't make me look off but I really feel like this color of foundation is perfect to blending my face and my chin I mean my face and my neck I really like this color so that's again in the shade 400 and just for references I wear like an NC 50 in MAC but that color to me does feel a little off it feels like it's a tad bit um not kind of a tad dark but I just feel like for me, it needs a little bit more yellow in it, but I feel like this had just the right amount of yellow in it to even me out. It looks really, really good. So we're going to move on to the next thing that I got, which is the Match Sticks Trio. And basically this is a trio. It's um, better to get the Trio, it has a concealer, a contour, and a highlight. And I got the color Tan 300. And the price of it is $54, I believe. Yes, $54. And what's really neat about these colors is, this is what they look like. The packaging is so cool, you guys. It's like magnetic. They're magnetic and they just stick together and you don't have to even keep them stuck together like that. You can stick them together like that. I think that that is so cool, so cute, so innovative. And I don't know, it's really neat for travel as well. So in the 10 300 set, you get a contour and the color of the contour is truffle. Here's what truffle looks like. I'm gonna swatch truffle on my hand. That is truffle. Next you get a highlight, which is caramel. That's caramel on my hand. And after that, you get a Highlights, cream highlights in the color rum. Ooh, rum is so pretty. And that's rum. Kind of like a coppery shade. So, let's go in with the concealer stick. So, I'm just going to go under my eyes where I would normally highlight or conceal. The product glides on the skin nicely. I think this is a really good color for me for concealer. And I'm just going to take my small beauty sponge and blend that in. I'm going to also go over this area of darkness around my nose right here just a little bit blend that out and I'm going to take a little bit down the bridge of my nose okay 
Now that that's complete, we're going to take the contour stick in the color truffle and I'm just gonna contour my face where I would normally contour it. And I'm gonna go down my nose just a little bit. I'm gonna take the opposite edge of my small beauty sponge and blend that out. That looks really good. These colors blend out so well so well you guys okay and now I'm just gonna take a little of the cream highlighter and just highlight a little bit to test it out because I also got a little highlighter um where did I put it oh it's right here in my face also got this to highlight with and I definitely want to try that so let's take this hmm let's take this down the bridge of our nose just so we can see what it looks like this is in the color rum they glide on so creamy so creamy I'm just gonna try to take this beauty sponge again and blend that out That is so pretty. Let's zoom you guys in so you can see how pretty that is. Mm. That is really nice. It's a really nice subtle highlight. So, I mean, it's definitely not blinding, but it's just enough for me to know that I have it on and probably for people not to be like, oh, she is blinding them, but it's, <laughs> it's a nice subtle highlight. And it's so creamy, it just blends so well in with your skin that it's just, I'm really blown away. <laughs> I'm like really blown away by these products, you guys. They are so nice. It makes me wanna go and get more, even though I just got all of this. So now we're gonna try the Kilowatt palette. And I got this in the colors Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, Moscow Mule. Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. She has some really pretty gold colors as well, but I felt like I do already have a lot of gold um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighters because I have that glow kit. So I wanted to try this. This is her packaging, guys. It's everything. It's not focusing. Focus. Focus. It says Fenty Beauty. So pretty. So let's open this. Let's try to open this y'all aren't seeing the struggle okay so I opted for this rose gold highlighter oh my gosh it looks so pretty Moscow mule is the more blingy shade and ginger binge is more of the um shade with a little less glitter in it but they're both very pretty rose gold shades so let's go in with Ginger Binge since it has less um, glitter to it and we'll put some Moscow Mule on our top. As you can probably see I got quite a bit on there so let's just see what it does. Ooh, 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 it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. This, is, this color is even prettier than I thought it would be. I 
These look so good. The rose gold is coming through. Oh my gosh. I really like gold highlighters on me, but this right here, this right, Riri, you knew what you were doing, girl. This right here is so good. Now I think I like, I'm probably putting on way too much, but that's what blending is for, honey. That's what blending is for. Yes. Yes. Okay. We got that on there pretty doggone well. So let's go in with Moscow Mule and put some of that on top, honey. Mm-hmm. So this is Moscow Mule, which I told you was the shade that has more glitter in it. But I'm blinging enough. Trust me, I am. But can you really have enough bling? Let's see. Let's go in. Let's get in there. They can probably see me from space right now. And you know what? I am here for it. I am here for it. Riri, you, you girl. Drop the dog on makeup brush. You did the thing. You did it. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. Y'all, let's just take a moment. Look at that glow and let's just take a moment to Thank Riri from the bottom of our hearts for making a makeup line. Y'all, she did it. She did it. It's so good. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, somebody needs to, you don't have to tell me. I know, I know. I need to put this down. I need to put that down. Because we have one last thing to get into and that is our gloss and this is the gloss bomb and if it's anything like the highlight honey I'm fixing to be in love Riri take just take my coins take all my coins take them all because you're gonna get them this is so pretty you can't see it well focus focus this is so pretty this is like a rose gold lip gloss has a really huge applicator it smells sweet I don't know what it smells like but it's it has a sweet scent to it it's not sticky feels nice pretty I really love the formula because usually when you put on a gloss you go to do this and it feels like your lips are like like peeling open because it's like so sticky this is not sticky at all I really like it and I really like everything so what I'm gonna do right now is go and finish my makeup come back and give you guys my final thoughts on everything okay so I am back and this is the completed look this is my face this is how everything looks I'm all blended in I went over the contour with my powder contour I um, set my under eye makeup with what I normally would set it with I went over my eyes I did my eyes as you can tell, this has pretty much been my everyday go-to, want to be cute eye look. So I did that to my eyes. I applied some falsies, you know, went over my face with my normal powder, and this is how everything turned out. So now I'm going to give you my final thoughts on Rihanna's makeup collection. I love it. I, I mean, look at me. I look 
good I love it I'm gonna zoom you guys out now well I just sit and talk to you and go over everything first of all I feel like the primer did its job under the makeup applying my makeup was easy on top of this so I think that they do work well together and I like the primer I needed a primer I wanted a primer it's a good primer not much to say there this foundation this color is gorgeous for me this is like I don't think I've ever had a foundation match me as well as this one did so I have sensitive skin so I can't tell if I'm gonna react to it or not after just applying it for like five well it's been more than five minutes but I'm just praying that I do not have a reaction to this because this is beautiful I love it 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 I can't exclaim that enough and she has like 40 shades so you can probably find your perfect match too I am so in love with this <laughs> and again I would recommend that you don't just look online and order I recommend you go in store because looking online I would have gotten um, a color that was probably four shades darker than this it might just be me that I'm not good with online ordering makeup but I probably would have got a something way too dark so definitely probably go inside your local Sephora store wherever they carry Fenty Beauty and try it out before you buy it okay and next let's move on to the matte stick set this set is really really good I feel like the um, concealer under my eyes it went on well the contour went on well and they both blended out very easily the colors were really good for my skin tone again I got I will have all this linked below of what I got and this was in the color tan 300 with caramel truffle and rum caramel is the concealer truffle is the contour and rum is the highlight and I think the highlight is very pretty and very natural so I would recommend these I recommend everything so far the star for me of the collection lord baby sweet jesus this was amazing what is it called what is it called this is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo i am in love with this you it's 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 a struggle to open but once you get open and get into that bad i mean this bad boy this is some good stuff on to the last and final thing the um, Fenty Beauty gloss this gloss did not work for me I mean I personally love the color love the way it feels on my lips but I can't get over the smell I wish I had opened it and smelled it in store it's just so overpowering and it just it hasn't gone away yet it's very beautiful though if you don't mind scented um, lip products you would love it but I was just smelling it and tasting it and smelling it and tasting it and smelling it and tasting it and that's something that I don't really care for in my makeup is to um, be able to smell it and taste it for a while after I put it on but thankfully with everything else in the collection it was unscented which I loved I wish this was unscented I really do because it's such a pretty gloss and it's not sticky so I'm pretty sure I will get used to the scent but yeah that's it on that and so overall for the collection I really like it I really hope that everything meshes well with my skin so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it so please like comment and subscribe for more bye